Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another flip through video. We're going to take a look at the new release of the Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine, illustrated by Dan Craig, 78 cards and guidebook published by Hay House. So we're going to take a look at it. I have already flipped through it, taken a look at the guidebook because um, from the looks of the back here, there was a lot going on and rather than um, waste time uh, reading through the guidebook with you on camera, we're just going to talk about it. We're going to see um, how we feel about this deck, which is kind of amazing, I'm not going to lie. I'm not one that gravitates towards angel decks. However, since this was a new release, I thought I'd give it a try. Um, there is this Archangel Power Tarot um, card deck that is uh, originally Doreen Virtue's deck, but Radley Valentine took over. This particular deck is similar, but vastly different to this. Um, I did not connect with this deck as much as I wanted to. In fact, it's one that I still try to use, but it just, I don't know what it is about it. I just, it's not my favorite. However, I like it if that makes sense. So this one I have found to pro be proven, uh, I can speak, I have found to be quite interesting. So there's a couple of things about this deck that is different. And let me see if I can find that page that, here we go. Okay, so we have the depiction of the cards here which is quite interesting because the major arcana he's changed some of the titles to be more positive and more current with today's society the archangel association is abbreviated on the left corner and then we have the card number on the right as well as some guide words on the minor arcana we have the card number at the left top card suit on the right which would be one of the four elements we have the archangel association which is on the bottom left and a corresponding wisdom card to the uh, a matching major arcana card for this deck and some guide words as well so i really like all of the information that is in this guidebook we do have some spreads um we have a bunch of information on the archangels and um, the just overall feel of the deck is very, very positive. It is very diverse, which is phenomenal. And uh, like I said, it just seems like such a positive deck to work with. Um, I really do like that it's not very glossy feeling. So like you don't get that fingerprinty look. However, it's not quite matte. The card is a little bit thin, but it doesn't feel weak. So that's important to note as well. So as you can see, the dreamer is the name for the fool. <laughs> I just love him. So let's take a look at the cards here. Quite the different deck, I have to say. I'm very impressed with the art. I feel like the art, like it's just something that you can look at all day. And I feel like this is a great all levels uh, deck to use. Beginner friendly. I like that in each um, of the major arcanas, you can see the symbols for the zodiac there. If you find it, if you look close enough. I don't feel like this is a very overbearing deck at all. I feel like this deck is definitely something that you can use with all different types of people. I feel like it's a very, um, oh, that was the other thing. Justice is eight and um, strength is number 11 in this deck. Um, but I feel like this is the type of deck that you can use with all different types of people. This isn't something that's going to scare your clients. This isn't something that's gonna scare um, your family members. I feel like people that are getting a reading by you, they'll understand this a little bit better because they can see that you're not pulling out 
the death card. You're pulling out the release card. Isn't that gorgeous? Such a positive way of putting that card. Balance for temperance. And then I really like how this is ego and not the devil. It's not scary. You can see exactly what's going on in the imagery. Transformation for the tower. So it's got a positive twist to it and I really like that. I love this card so much. So like, I don't even, ethereal, I'm gonna say. So yeah, flipping through this, I was pleasantly surprised. I haven't shuffled this yet, but I just wanted to get a feel for it. I wanted to uh, familiarize myself with it so that way I didn't kind of bore you guys with, you know, reading from the guidebook for you. I love this card so much. Oh. All right, so here we go. And he was saying how once you go through the cards, you can kind of see more of the story. And I do feel like that's true with the imagery that's in place here. Oh, that her dress. Sorry if you can hear my dogs barking. There's stuff going on outside and they're just trying to protect the house. I love this. It's just so positive and so uplifting that even the quote unquote negative cards in this deck have more of a uh, positive feel. This Eight of Wands is gorgeous too. So you'll see similar people in the decks, which is great. The cards feel really good in your hand. Oh look, the little ace grew up. Love it. The knight. Oh, this was the other thing that I noticed. If you look at the queen and the king, they each have half of the emblem up here. I love little details like that. Love it. And I feel like too, these are the the kind of cards that you can look at the art for a while and get something new every time. This dolphin, I love it. The imagery is great. I feel like even not knowing anything about these cards, you can figure out what's going on. And this guy, this angel here, the way that he's peeking out and how he looks, does he not look like Ross from Friends? The places my mind goes to, I swear. I don't know, but um, love it. <laughs> we were on a break. I'm so sorry. Look at how cute these are. Two cute little puppers. So you're going to get a lot of information. If you're curious about Archangels, if you want to learn more, there's a whole reference area in the guidebook for it. There's references to the symbols. There's references to um, uh, why he chose what he chose. So that's fantastic as a beginner goes. And then, um, you know, if you're somebody like me who doesn't really know a lot about Archangels, it's fascinating and it's a great place to start to learn. So I am excited about that. Left and right, that's cool. Are there, nope, just one guy has a boat. So yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised about this deck. So I was not sure what to expect and um, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. I like that each suit is of the one of the elements. So with the swords, it's air. 
I feel like that also connects on a deeper um, interpretate, interpretive level as well. So, I mean, there's just layers to this deck, which is fantastic. I love a deck with layers. I love the thought behind it. I feel like this was definitely something that was a labor of love. And you can feel it through the imagery. And how much information is in the guidebook. And on the cards. Sometimes we need a deck that is a lot more positive. Sometimes we need that. Um, if we're going through a hard time, sometimes seeing um, a deck that's more frank and matter of fact is not what we need. Sometimes we need a little bit more of a cushion when we ask about our problems. And I feel like this is one of those cushion decks. Like it just feels so good all the way around. And look, we all, uh, we have um, a wheelchair representation in this. This is uh, amazing. She reminds me of Eleven from Stranger Things. Millie Brown, Bobby Millie Brown, is that what her name is? Gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Oh, the buns. Well, I love it. I feel like there's something for everyone in this deck. All right, and there's the king. So what we're gonna do now is I am going to shuffle this and then we will pull a card or one will fall out and we'll read it from the guidebook to see how you'll be able to read from it, if that makes sense. It's not terrible to shuffle. I feel like I'm just the one that's having the problem. Yeah, shuffle's just fine. And it snaps back, so it's not terribly weak. It feels really good in the hand. And we have, oh, that is the card that we're gonna take a look at. So, the Eight of Earth, or the Eight of Pentacles. And on it, it says, learning all you can about a subject or career, going back to school, taking a seminar, or finding a mentor, attention to detail, and skilled work that you love. All right, so corresponding card would be the Empress. Okay, so let's see. Suit of Earth, and we're at eight. Okay, so it says, it's time to really get busy and focus on your goal. Your dedication to your task will lead you to master your gifts and become the best you can be. While this card can indicate repetitive work, it's important to remember that with each creation, you become better and better at what you do. Learn everything you can. Close your mind to other goals or daily distractions and throw yourself into passion or into your passion. Your work will be noticed and recognition of your skill will make you proud. This card can also reflect the need to learn more about your trade by reading, taking courses, attending seminars, or finding a mentor. Additional meanings of this card, desperately wanting to learn, making money, superior craftsmanship, apprenticeship, attention to detail, work that represents the real you, or, during, or doing wisdom doing research. So the wisdom card. Archangel Gabriel is your go-to angel for jump-starting your creativity and motivation. The power of the Empress will create focus and passion for your endeavors. All right. So like I said, guys, like there's just a lot of information here, a lot of great information. Um, I feel like anybody can pick up this deck and start using and start divining. Um, I feel like there's something for everyone, and I feel like it was very um, lovingly thought out. Um, I And like I said, everyone I feel like is represented in this deck. There's something for everyone. The art is stunning. I feel like you can really understand what's going on. Even though there's a lot on the card, the card being a bigger, more oracle deck size, is giving you all of the space you need for all of this. It's not convoluted, it's not jumbled. You can easily tell what's going on without having 
you know, big flashy borders or crazy wordings all over the place. I just feel like it's it was very well thought out. So, uh, you know, I'm not crazy about the back of the deck, but, you know, we're not always looking at the back of the deck, right? We're looking and what we're focusing on is what's the card about, right? So, honestly, between the two decks, between the Archangel Power and the Angel Wisdom, I'm going to go with the Angel Wisdom all the way. I feel like this is definitely the more higher tier of the deck as far as information and as far as connectivity and art goes. Um, I really, really do like this deck. And like I said, I'm not prone to, to gravitate toward the Angel um, themed deck or working with the angels, but the art is just stunning. It's so beautiful. And I love the concept of it. I love that thing. So many different things are going on, but it doesn't feel um, chaotic. It just, you know exactly what's going on. I'm very, very happy with this. So I'm going to recommend it to you guys. I feel like um, $24.99 is a great price. Um, do I wish it was a little bit cheaper? Yes. However, look out for those Hay House sales because they have them pretty decently, pretty, um, uh, pretty often for decent price. So we, we're talking 50% off. We're talking buy different decks to get a percentage off. Like if you want to wait until that happens, I highly suggest that as well. So there's ways of getting the deck a little bit cheaper. Um, but for $24.99 compared to $29.99, definitely go with this in my opinion it's I, i'm recommending it i feel like if you connect with this definitely check it out let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below i mean i feel like this is just a labor of love and i i am i can get behind that let me know what you think down in the comment section if you're interested in this if this is on your radar if it's on your wish list if you're already you know, receiving it in the mail, let me know. I'm curious to see what you think. As well as don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you already haven't. That way you'll never miss an upload from me. I've got a lot coming. I got a lot of decks that I'm getting through. <laughs> Obviously, if you've been around here for a while, you've been seeing the um, video notifications go on quite often. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.